What's what's good, Black Star Podcast? Welcome to my channel. This is gonna be a. This isn't gonna be a review video. This is gonna be some original content because I know a lot of people have been asking me for my own my own content. Now, I've been seeing a lot of videos telling black men to vote Democrat. I've been seeing a lot of videos telling black men or asking black men, why do black men want to vote for Donald Trump? And what I've been seeing as far as the economy, what's been going on with um, with Biden, Harris, all of this shit that's been going on, I can truly say this. A lot of brothers are tired. A lot of black men are tired. A lot of white men, white women, black women, Asian men, Asian women, Latinos, Latinas, all of y'all, everybody's tired of this shit. Everybody's always talking about black men need to get behind black women when it comes to voting for a Democratic Party or specifically voting for Kamala Harris because she's, quote unquote, a black woman. When we've proven multiple times and multiple occasions, this woman is not black. This woman is an Hindu Indian woman, a red dot Indian woman. This woman is an Indian woman from India. She is not black. Nor has she ever claimed to be black. Okay. Now to the people that are talking about Trump saying that he would give the police 100% immunity. Let me inform y'all on a little bit of information about that. that. That would have to be a legislative change. There would have to be. Trump cannot, cannot have, does not have executive orders as executive power to do that. Okay? So for y'all who are saying that Trump is going to do this, do that, no, you're mistaken. Trump is not, Trump cannot do that. To the people talking about, oh, if he gets back in, he said that he, that there wouldn't be, there won't be another president. He can't do that either because there, there will have to be a constitutional change and that will require legislative, judicial, and executive authority and authorization. There would have to be there would have to be so many so much red tape. Voters would have to vote on it and everything. So he can't become a quote unquote dictator, which a lot of you ignorant motherfuckers are always saying. That's two. And three, y'all talking about Trump is racist. Now I'm not going to sit here and try to argue that some of the things that Trump has said ain't been a little iffy. But compared to what Biden has said during his youth, what he continues to do now, the 1994 crime bill being enacted and him celebrating it like it's his damn, like it's his child. Him calling black men predators like um, Hillary Clinton back during that time. This man has said so much racist shit and done so much racist shit that we keep on, we keep on um, bypassing, overlooking what the fuck this man has actually said. Who's the one that said, if you don't know whether you want to vote for me or Trump, then you ain't black. Who said that? Because last time I checked, Biden was the one that said that. But y'all black folks skipped your happy ass down to the polls and voted for this man. Although this man basically just doggone insulted your intelligence. And a lot of y'all didn't even realize it at the time. If you don't know whether you want to vote for me or Trump, then you ain't black. What nerve, what nerve... Does a white man that's running for office have to say to a black person to say, if you don't know whether you want to vote for me or Trump, then you ain't black. Who the fuck is that? And y'all doggone celebrated this man and doggone basically said, 
I don't want to vote for Trump because Trump racist. Meanwhile, you got Biden literally saying all this shit to your fucking face. And you over here clapping that shit up. Kamala ain't done nothing but a damn, no, damn thing in California or for anybody in this damn country, I might add. I have Californians that lived in California during her tenure as the uh, DA. They said she wasn't worth a fuck. She been in the White House as a vice president for three and a half years as the borders are. What has happened at the at the border? We have hundreds of thousands to millions of damn migrants coming to this country. Our financial system is at is strained. You have different cities not being able to not being able to produce anything and also the filing for bankruptcy. Black men are seeing this shit all over. And then on top of that, these people are turning our women against us every every damn which way. And this woman danced in y'all motherfucking face with damn Meg Thee Stallion and Quavo. Meanwhile, this broad ain't said nothing about a damn policy for your motherfucking goofy ass. And then you telling us you need to vote for Kamala because she a black woman. Meanwhile, y'all be the same ignorant Negroes when Kamala get elected, if Kamala get elected, and she doggone dance in y'all fucking face, laugh in your fucking face, and give everybody else something that benefits them. Meanwhile, telling you in your fucking face, oh, we have to have a um, we have to have a reparations commission before you to get reparations. But I'm not supporting any cash payments. She will laugh and dance in your motherfucking face all this goddamn time. Then you'll be over here looking around like, what's going on? Why don't black people? Why aren't black people are progressing? But then you'll sit here and and tell us. Black men, oh, you ain't worth a fuck because you didn't vote for her. Meanwhile, you paying higher damn prices for grocery. You paying higher prices for gas. Your interest rates is sky damn high. You can't afford to live in your apartment. You can't afford your fucking apartment. You can't even afford to take a piss outside nor a bottle of water out of fucking QT. But you over here complaining about black men not voting for Kamala because she a black woman. I find that kind of interesting. But y'all be the same ones that'll be mad that you got to pay all this high price shit and your yo damn, uh, yo damn wages ain't gone up. But everything around the fucking country is gone up and jobs are going overseas left and right. Hmm, I find that interesting. Black people, we got to start doing better. Black men see the writing on the wall. And it's time black women got on the same program as us because regardless if you want to say it or not, black men see what this woman is doing. And it's not for the benefit of black women. It's for the benefit of, uh, it's for the benefit of Kamala Harris. Other than that, she don't give a fuck about you. She don't give a fuck about me. She don't give a fuck about anybody. She's only in. She only wants to run for president so that the migrants can get all the money. They getting all the bread. You ain't getting all the bread. I ain't getting the bread. White people ain't getting the bread. The white people mad as hell too. Oh my god. You hey, you hear white hey, you hear some of these white creators? Oh my god, they mad as hell. They ready to all gonna stump. They were they ready to stump a mud hole in somebody's ass. I have several of them that watch my channel. You think I'm bullshitting? Oh no, they agree 100%. Not what, well, not 100%. Damn that. They don't agree 100% with what I'm saying, but damn it, they agree with a lot of what I'm saying. 
Scam Chan is white. Hector's Hispanic. And I believe I have some Muslim brothers and sisters that listen to my channel as well. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to the white folks. Shout out to the Latinos. Shout out to the Asians that listen to me. And shout out to the Muslims that listen to me. Shout out to each and every one of them. Also, shout out to my brothers and sisters that listen to me as well. I can't do this without y'all. But y'all know what I'm saying is the truth. This is why black men are starting to become more vocal about a lot of the politics and shit that's going on. But anyways, like, share, subscribe, channel, support the podcast, the spot com. If you guys want to support me on Patreon, please support me on Patreon at Black Star Podcast. And if you want guys want to send a cash up, which I pray y'all do, because, you know, a brother over here needs some help with some equipment here. But um, Skyrocket04 is the cash up. And again, I thank each and every one of you guys for supporting this channel and watching the content. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. And please support. I'll catch you guys later. Bye, guys.